So welcome everybody to the Kubert community meeting. It is the 5th of June, 2024. Uh, let me just post the meeting minutes again into the chat for anyone who has just joined. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope you're all having a wonderful week and a slightly better week than I am. I'm uh, recovering from a cold, so that's why my camera is off. And uh, I will be um, processing information a little bit slower at the moment. Um, so we do have someone new today. Uh, I will uh, invite you to introduce yourself in just a second. Um, and if anyone else is interested in introducing themselves, um, please put it into chat. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to the welcomes after the schedule and the CFPs. Gives you a uh, minus second to prepare. Um, yeah, I can I can introduce myself. Hey everybody, I'm Drew Mullen. Um, very new to Qvert. Uh, kind of got in by way of uh, Harvester from SUSE. Uh, I've spent most of my open source work doing contributions to mostly HashiCorp products, and um, that's kind of what's piqued my interest in. Qvert is I'm trying to write a, a Packer, HashiCorp Packer plugin for Harvester, which runs Qvert under the hood. So that's that's how I kind of got into this circle. It's nice to meet everybody. Hi. And nice to meet you. You're very welcome. I, I, I feel like I recognize your name on maybe some issues or some bugs recently or some PIs. Uh, could be. I did open an issue in early April. Um, it depends on uh, what your. Are you a bird in the hand? <laughs> uh, that is me. Yeah. That's got to be the best GitHub name I think I've seen. It's <laughs> that's great. So yeah, you commented on this. Cool. And uh, my memory has not failed me yet. Well, welcome. Um, is there anyone else here that would like to introduce themselves? All righty. Well, there's always next week. Uh, so a quick look at the 1.3 release. Uh, we are getting into the thick of it. Next week, June 12th, we will have our 1.3 feature freeze. So if you are looking to get something into the 1.3 release and it is still pending, you've got a week to... Um, push it and to push on reviewers and approvers to have a look and make any fixes. And our uh, 1.3 release date is still July 3rd. Always nice to be aware of those dates. Uh, the CFPs, I think it's just the two which um, running out of time. We've got KVM Forum 2024, so that will be in Bruno in September. So that expires, expire, stops, it's due uh, in a couple of days, June 8th, which I think is Friday. And then um, KubeCon, Cloud Native Con, it's a big one. Uh, Salt Lake City in November. The next day, June 9th, is when the CFP closes. Uh, for either of those, if you're interested and you're not entirely sure of an idea, or if you have an idea and you'd like someone to have a look at your proposal, you are welcome to ping me um, tomorrow, I guess, either today or tomorrow, because I don't think I'll be here on Friday. Um, so yeah, that is a, a, an open, but I guess a relatively small invitation. And then uh, next week, um, actually, I might need to ask someone to host next week's meeting because um, we will there'll be a bunch of us at DevConf 2024, also in Bruna. And there you can see the talks uh, that I've been made aware of. If um, you know of any other Kubert or adjacent related talks at DevConf, please let me know. I'll put them here. Okay. And on the subject of events, uh, Kubert Summit. Um, the CFP is closed. Uh, the committee has met. We had more submissions than we've had in previous years, and it was uh, very difficult to uh, narrow it down. Very sad to pass by a whole bunch of really great talks, uh, unfortunately. Um, there is a rough, well, there is a, um, was it a proposed schedule uh, PR um, that will hopefully get merged today. I don't know if Jed's on the line. He's not. 
Um, so you can see it there. Uh, I'm working with the CNCF. They will soon have an event page. Uh, so once that is up and they let me know about it, we can um, start setting out links on the Kubevert Dev mailing list, on the Slack channels, on the Twitter account, wherever you see it. Um, so you can join up. It's, it's online and it's free, and it's also been moved one day early uh, to avoid a clash. So it'll now be on June 24th, 25th. Um, so that, I believe, is a Monday and Tuesday. So something to keep in, uh, in mind. Um, yeah, uh, are there any questions? Wonderful. Drew. Hello, everyone. Um, so I had an issue around, um, I, I believe there's, there's a um, incorrectly documented uh, set of endpoints. I believe at first I thought it was just delete VM, but I believe all delete APIs are currently documented as returning a status field. Um, but I believe in reality, they're actually returning the object that has been deleted. So if you delete a VM, you don't get a status back, you get the VM that was deleted. And I guess I was looking for someone could check me on that, that that's accurate. And then number two, someone could point me in the direction of where this swagger is, how the swagger is performing, how the swagger is generated. Um, so I could take a look at trying to fix that. Uh, so Drew, I'm not an expert, but um, usually for Kubernetes, you always get the, I mean, also with standard Kubernetes object, you usually get the object there when you delete. Yeah, not, so not, so you're agreeing, you shouldn't get a status back, you should get the object back that was deleted, yeah. correct? And if you look in hack uh, directory, there should be something called generate sh. Uh, let me find it. And there is where this is um, automatically generated. So this JSON is uh, generated automatically. And that should be this script. Let me copy it to you into the chat. If you look at uh, from live uh, line 12, there is. Um, I think that's the. Yeah, I'm looking it's the tool that is uh, generating uh, that JSON. Uh, but it's actually from us because I'm looking at. So I, I think we have it. It's something that we build ourselves, I think. Because it, always in ACK, we have gen swagger doc. Anyway, that's the directory to look at, right? Um, so all the API and, um, and this, um, yeah, and, and these files are generated in this script, so. I, I'm not sure how this works. So if anyone, yeah, knows. it's quite complicated. I was dig I was trying to dig into this yeah. myself. But the, but this is the place. Um, okay. Is it true that y'all have a Slack? Maybe I'll join that. And yeah, um, we have a uh, Qbert off. You will find your community there. Okay. Well, thank you for the confirmation. I'll dig around and. Um, I'll join but definitely and... getting that only the status uh, sounds a little bit weird to me. I've just thrown into chat um, the socializing section of our community repo where you can find our, um, both of our Slack channels. You're probably interested in Qbert Dev. Virtualization, although it has more people in it, is more from a, a user question point of view rather than a developer point of view. Okay. So at least that's I'll how join. I think of those two channels. I'm um, you can also find now. awesome. You can also find our uh, Twitter, a link to our blog, and our calendar because we have, I think, now seven uh, regular meetings. 
um, four. Let's see if I can remember it. Storage, CI, CI test lanes, API, community meeting, and performance and scale. So if any of those are of interest to you. That's great. Thank you. Thank you for persisting with this. Um, oh, yeah. Yes, I, I do remember looking at this, and uh, I, I'm not able to help you. No one likes working with Swagger, so I... <laughs> <sighs> okay, dokie. Um, so we have a couple of things uh, the mailing list that I wanted to draw our attention to. Um, for those that haven't seen it already, let this load. So Antonio sent this out a couple of days ago. Um, the SQL operator lane, to the best of my knowledge, it is still unstable. Um, I, and we'll know more when, um, when it gets fixed, I think. And this one from Daniel Heller, um, clarifying working groups. So um, there's been a lot of changes to the way that we, we've organized uh, SIGs and the responsibilities and the, I think the governance around those. Um, so Daniel is putting forward a distinction between working groups and SIGs, which we didn't previously have. Um, so there's two PRs there, if you're interested in taking a look at them. And then we had one little bug. Um, it's always a great pleasure when I go through and triage for this meeting and there's no PRs that need to be looked at and there's um, very few bugs to look at. So this came through really recently. Um, keep it on arm. Sandbox it up that a big angry error. Um, so I wanted to ask folks here: Is this something? Is um, uh, is how would the best slash only person that is will be able to help out with this? This kind of a bug, or is there anyone else that I can add to this? We might be able to help out. Uh, Andrian, do we have somebody assigned to ARM? Well, we have uh, Howard Zhang, who's from ARM. Um, to him? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I wasn't sure if there was anyone else um, who was familiar with building Qubit on ARM. Because we do, we do get a, a smattering of a variety of questions about it. Do we have uh, already the working group for the architecture in place? Could you ping them or? No, good question. Um, I think that was still pending. Okay. I will CC Howard. Uh, I can remember his. It's Z ha ha, I think. Uh, that's right. Z ha ha. Thank you, Brian. Cool. Um, and as Michael's put in, Swaggerdog is maintained by Roman, and Roman is now in uh, West Coast time zone. West Coast of the United States. So it can be, uh, it no longer really attends this meeting, unfortunately. Sure. Uh, and I didn't see any live flag test. So that brings us to the end of today's agenda. Uh, nice as a light. Um, so we'll wrap it up here, um, but I'll leave five, 10 seconds uh, if case anyone wants to jump in with a question or a comment or anything else. Hey, um, are you able to hear me? Sure can. Okay, cool. Hi, uh, I didn't get to introduce earlier because um, the mic wasn't working. My name is James Ortiz. Um, I, I was actually joining, I'm trying to, I have some questions related to KVCSI, but I think that might be tomorrow's meeting with Qvert SIG. Would that be correct? Uh, tomorrow's meeting is SIG scale performance. Okay, so I'm trying to. 
figure out what the right meeting would be to um, ask some questions related to uh, Cuber CSI. That would be uh, storage, which is on Monday. They've just had it, so it'll be in, not next week, but the following week. But um, okay. uh, Michael Henriksen is here, so you may as well ask it, and we might be able to resolve it here. Okay, uh, it's just more about like some of the capabilities um, that KVCSI has. Um, I was able to find the service capabilities, and um, I was trying to find the volume um, access modes. And then I just kind of wanted to explain, like I'm bringing KVCSI into a project that I'm working with using a split deployment. And I just had some questions around some of the controller capabilities that aren't there and what the timeline looks like for them to get there because we were considering possibly adding some ourselves. But I figure that's probably a more detailed conversation, more targeted for that Monday group, it sounds like. Yeah, I mean, definitely, uh, I think we're only supporting a subset of um, CSI operations now. Um, but yeah, um, wh what were you, what are you looking for? Uh, so we're replacing with the current CSI and to keep like uh, feature parity, specifically clone and volume expansion. I did see an issue in the KVCSI um, GitHub that, uh, talked about volume expansion, um, but it looked like cloning was uh, being worked on first, but I didn't really see any sort of indication of when that might like get done. Um, and then we're looking at like, just for the stuff that we're doing, some, some timelines um, where we might try to do the volume expansion ourselves, and then possibly, you know, bring it back into the repo. Um, but then while we're going through and just looking at all the feature supports, those were the main things that was the cloning, the volume expansion. And then I couldn't find the actual uh, volume flags in KVCSI to see what um, support KVCSI gave for volume capability access modes. So that's probably the one thing I'm unsure of at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, no, so definitely, um, I think we are aiming to support all the um, CSI capabilities, but, um, and I think, yeah, yeah, actually the guy to talk to is Alexander Wells, who's been working on it and he'll be in the next SIG storage meeting. I uh, haven't been following it too closely. I think we support like volume snapshot now, but yeah, I think we're, we're um, definitely it, it's an area we're still trying to uh, flush out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I think, yeah, like, uh, I'll, uh, make sure that I'm on that next one. Maybe, but, um, yeah. And contributions are for sure, uh, accepted. We, <laughs> um, or, you know, um, you know, we'd love to get more people involved in that project for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's definitely, um, it, it's something that we've looked at and that we want to use in that split deployment and, and we definitely like it. It's just with those capabilities, we just, we don't want to kind of lose parity with what we have today. Um, and capabilities. So that's kind of the, the big thing we're looking at right now and how we can cover those gaps. Okay, very cool. What, what is your, um, what provision are you using on your infrastructure? So today we use um, NetApp Trident provision. Okay. Yeah, and we're just, uh, we, we have a tiered set of clusters and at the, uh, like the most user accessible cluster, we're swapping out Trident with KVCSI split deployment. Um, yeah, okay. that's where. We're... Yeah, so that that yeah, that's that's some storage that we at least have internally that we could use. Sometimes with, um, we don't have um, access to that stuff for testing or anything. But yeah, I think it should be possible. Definitely get involved with the community, come to a meeting, make some contributions. It would be awesome. Okay, cool. Thanks. Wonderful. Um, yeah, and James, in, in, I'm not sure if you're here, but um, there's a link. Uh, the calendar that you'll find that meeting um, is in the github.com kubert community hash socializing. Um, yeah, because it's, it's our only every two week meeting. Gotcha. Uh, Thanks. Very welcome. So that, 
Um, yeah, if anyone else has any questions or comments or concerns, I guess, before we wrap up. Hey, Andrew, it's Mark Lavi. If you need me, I can back you up for next week for the uh, community meeting. Oh, that'd be awesome. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Much appreciated. Just confirm with me uh, and I'll be sure to be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can do that. Cool. All right. Thanks. In which case, uh, thank you everyone for being here and for, um, yeah, for, for helping keep this project trundling along. Um, uh, oh gosh, what was I going to say? Good luck, Mark, next week. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll see you all in, well, next week and in two weeks' time. Uh, until then, hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.